right, boys, I want this carrot field completely harvested by sundown or you're both out of a job. Yes, sir, Mr. Frank, sir. We'll pick every last one of these fresh, juicy, yummy carrots. They do look pretty good. You don't mind if we eat a few carrots ourselves, do you, Mr. Frank? Don't even think about it, horse brain. If either one of you take so much as one bite of one of those carrots, then you're both fired. And remember, I've got you both on camera, so no funny business. You got it? Got it. Yeah, got it. All right. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go talk with other rich people about boats. <laughs> I don't know about you, Glue, but I'm really glad I landed this job. My parents said I have to start paying for my own Steam account or I can't live in the bonus room anymore. Yeah, I know how you feel, Necky Beard. I had to get this job because if I don't have any food to eat, I'll starve to death. And that's almost as bad as my situation. Anyway, all's well that ends well. Good thing Frank gave us this gig, huh? Yeah. But... But what? Oh, nothing. Whatever. But, I mean... What? Oh, nothing, it's just... Out with it already! Well... It's kind of not fair, I mean, about the labor value and all. What are you talking about? Labor value? Yeah, a couple weeks ago, a pink cat with a big beard told me all about how Frank steals a whole lot of our labor value for his own profits. Yeah, that's just Mark's chin. He never makes any sense. Well, he sort of made sense to me, Necky Beard. I mean, we're going to spend all day picking these carrots, and Frank's going to take most of the money and pay us a really small amount. Well, obviously Frank should get most of the money because it's his business. Frank's a businessman, and I'm going to be a businessman too someday. You'll see. You mean, you want to be a capitalist like Frank? Of course I do. You don't think I want to sit in the dirt all day pulling carrots for the rest of my life, do you? I'm going to have a huge field and lots of workers working for me. I'm going to make a lot of money, and then I'm going to sit around on my ass all day just like Frank. Well, gee, Necky Beard, where are you going to get the money to buy a field of your own? All I got to do is work hard. Then I'll be rich. Everyone knows that, Glue. It's the American dream. Well, I don't know if that's true, Necky Beard. Mark's Chan said that workers should have class confidence, class competence, class... Class consciousness. What the hell? It's a talking carrot. Carrots can't talk. I can. Well, look a there. A big, juicy, plump, scrumptious carrot that can talk. Greetings, workers. I'm the carrot of class consciousness, and Glue is right, you know. Capitalism is a system that relies on workers buying into a false ideology of individualistic determination so that they can be divided and conquered by the ruling class. Oh, great. It's a communist carrot. That's right. Could you tell us more about class consciousness, Mr. Food? I, I mean, Mr. Carrot? Uh, we don't have time for this, Glue. Class consciousness just means you realize that you're part of the working class and that you are being exploited by capitalists. Glue, you already know that Frank is stealing your labor value by profiting from your work, so that means you already have class consciousness. I do? Oh boy! What a bunch of moronic drivel. Frank has to do work too, you know. He has to sell the carrots and do all the, you know, the, the business stuff. He's a businessman. He deserves to make a profit. Ah, I see that you suffer from false consciousness, my Catherine friend. Hey, watch who you're talking to, you lousy vegetable. It's not an insult. Unfortunately, most workers in modern society suffer from false consciousness. It simply means that you buy into the false rhetoric and ideology of capitalism. You fail to see the working class as one unit of which you are a part, and instead see yourself as an individual completely separated from your fellow workers. You're darn right I'm an individual. I'm a grown-ass man. My parents and I can take care of myself. I don't need a bunch of communists holding me back from success. Mm, no, no, no. Ouch! Glue, did you just nibble me? Well, maybe just a little. Uh, uh, could you tell us more about false consciousness? False consciousness is what holds back workers from seizing the means of production. As long as you buy into the false promises of capitalism, capitalists will be able to continue exploiting you. Wow, you sure are food, Mr. Carrot. I, I mean, smart. You sure are smart. It's not a matter of intelligence glue, just a matter of opening your eyes to the true nature of capitalism. Neckybeard, you said you believe Frank earns his profits. Do you think he works ten times harder than you? 
Eh, I don't know. It's pretty hard work yanking all these carrots out of the ground. I doubt he works ten times harder than me. Do you think he's ten times smarter than you? Nobody's ten times smarter than me. Then why is he going to make ten times more money than he pays you when he sells all these carrots? I don't know, because he's the boss. Because that's how business works. And one day I'm gonna make my very own business and make lots of money, just like Frank. Uh, it's possible you might, Neckybeard, but the odds are stacked tremendously against you. The truth is most workers will never escape from their class. The chances of a worker becoming a wealthy capitalist like Frank are astronomically low. Is that slim chance that you might become rich yourself one day really a good justification for 1% of the capitalists in the entire world siphoning up well over half of all human wealth? Gee willikers, Neckybeard. That doesn't sound fair to me. Well, life isn't fair. If you want something in this world, you gotta fight for it. Unfortunately, that's the problem, Neckybeard. Capitalists have turned workers like you into commodities. You have become objectified. You're forced to sell your labor on the free market like so many carrots. And the more workers compete with each other and struggle and fight among yourselves, the harder you'll have to work and the lower your wages will be. Well, that does sort of make sense. I would definitely screw over glue here if it meant I could make more money for myself. I think Mr. Carrot is delicious, Neckybeard. I mean, right. I think he's right, Neckybeard. I don't want to have to fight with you over wages when we could be working together to share the full value of all these big, ripe, delectable, sweet, tantalizing... Um, <clears throat> glue? Carrots! Uh, I mean, I think things would be a lot better if we earned the full value of our labor. Imagine how much Overwatch DLC you could buy if Frank paid you what your labor was really worth. I could always use more Overwatch DLC. And I could always use more big, <laughs> plump, Down boy. crunchy, <laughs> Easy, tasty, fella. Luscious, hey, uh, back off, heavenly, <laughs> mouth-watering. Well, I think my work here is done. Uh, good luck to both of you. <laughs> Workers of the World Unite and all that. I gotta run. <laughs> Wait, come back. Let me smell you some more. Oh, that was a close one. For a minute there, I was starting to feel... Open-minded, yeah. Well, back to work. <laughs> Carrot. <laughs>